Okay, hello everyone. So today I'll be setting up for some more things in my binders. As of right now, I'm unsure if this specific clip will be its own video or not. I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to add some more things to this. But in this specific clip, I will be focusing solely on this binder. Um, also, I hope you enjoy this background here. I made this blanket. It's super cute. I mean, it's besides the point. My other background has just been bothering me, so until I can fix it, we're going with this. Also, it's kind of fitting for what we're doing here today. Regardless, in this clip, I will be setting up for OT10. I've specifically been waiting to get the sleeves that I need to set up for this, so they just came in yesterday, so I can go ahead and do this now. So yes, I'm super excited. So everything, all the sleeves I have are back here. So I just need to grab these. So, and I did fill them all with white cardstock because the cards obviously aren't big enough to fit the pages. So you'd be able to like see through and stuff. But also um, I do plan to double side the pages and plus it just kind of keeps the cards in place better. So that is what we're going with. So, I don't really know how to start here, so I'm going to take these pages out. So these are my Honey and Shout collections. So I guess I can kind of just get started here. So this first page will be Top Secret. So I just need to take out Honey and Shout from over here. And then fill one the back here. So, okay, Hwani will go... Hwani and Shao will go in these spots here. We'll go over so you can see. So these spots over here, and then there is a group card, so I'll go down here. So, let's see. My collection is going to be very much bare. I've done a little bit of work on getting some cards and stuff, but not much yet. So, next page is Bravo. So this one actually has group cards. There's two group cards, so... There's five members in one group card and then five members in the other. This whole page will be full rather than just have one spot empty. So there's that. So then this will be spotlight. I'm going to put the silver version first. These are probably some of my favorite cards from all of Obtention sets just because I think the outfits are just so incredibly cute and I think specifically Sunyul. His uh, his card from this set is really cute as well. So actually, and I do have I do have a group card right here. So this one will just go down here. I'll probably take more time to uh, like put the cards in place better later, but for right now, we're just going with what we have. So then the gold version. And I do have some, I do have some, like, new cards I can add to my collection, but I won't be adding those in quite yet. I feel like this just isn't the video to do that, so. Oh. Actually, I put these in the wrong order. I don't know why it's hard for me to remember which way they go. Okay, that's right. And then you can put Juani over here. here. So there's that. And I do have Jinhu's card for this actually. So that's fun. Then we have Summer Go. I guess I should just put all these in. Instead of just going one by one. That would make sense, huh? So, um, yeah, Summer Go. I only have Zhao's card for this actually. So I can put that there. And I will have some Gyujin and Kun cards to go there as well. I'm doing some work on this collection, just not very much. So we have this show, and go there. Next we have Burst. So this one has the hockey photo cards, which are some of my favorite cards ever. I kind of wish we were able to get like some cuter cards in these outfits because it just would have been perfect, you know? I probably would have started collecting OT10 back then if I could. Okay, this is me trying to figure out where these go. Shao goes here. So this is one set I kind of want to prioritize getting or completing first, I guess. I probably won't, but I'd like to. All right, so then we have the other version of Burst. So I can put Shao 
It only kind of sucks that I can't see the backs of the cards because they are nice, but they're not necessary. I kind of prefer this though. So let me start Stardom. So Stardom actually has three sets of cards instead of the normal two. So this one. I think this is probably my favorite set. It's super cute. This album also had like a first press kind of transparent card. But I personally have never seen any of them for sale. So I don't think I'm going to collect those because it would just be a huge headache to worry about. And I'm not really worried about it. Okay, and I think this album did not have any group cards. Oh, actually... Now that I think about it, Usuk was not a part of this comeback. So, Kwani actually goes up here. I don't know how I forgot about that. Is it here? Yeah, okay. I have to do the same thing here. All right, there we go. No, I still did it wrong. There we go. There we go, okay. Okay, so then we have the third set here. So let's see if I can do it right the first time. All right, there we go. So then the next comeback was 2018 Special Edition. I really love these cards. So Wusuk was also not a part of this comeback. go okay so then next we have invitation this stuff was a part of this comeback so you can put them back in their normal places so shout goes over here and climb over here there we go i'm not sure if there's group cards for this release honestly but it doesn't really matter so then we have the second version of the invitation Okay, so then we have the 2019 Special Photo Edition, which I really love these cards so much. This is another set I kind of want to prioritize. Probably won't, but I'd really like to. It's just a matter of kind of buying what you can get rather than, but here we have normal photo cards for the first time. So let's see, we can put these here. Okay, and then um, these these cards here are actually from Invitation, but I'm not going to put them with the Invitation album because I'll probably never finish these. I'm probably going to move them to the back unless I finish these sets. If you don't know anything about Obtention photo cards, these cards are just incredibly hard to find. And there's nine per member, so there's 90 of them. And uh, I have four, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting ride, actually. So I'm actually going to take them out and then deal with them, put them in sometime later. But like I said, they will get moved if and when I complete any set, really, any member. Then next, I can put in for Labyrintho. Is that next? Yes. So I have this version. And this was an OT10 comeback. No, wrong way. I really love these photo cards though. They're so pretty. And then this version. I think this set is super cute too. I remember this card literally took me like forever to find. Probably like over six months. So yeah. I don't know what it was about that card in particular. And I swear every time I came across it, it was sold really quickly. So I guess I forgot to take those off. So then next is, oh, actually, yeah. So these cards go next. These are the agent cards from Labyrintho. So then next is Moment of Illusion. So this is the first time they had normal selfie photo cards. So these will go first. And then, then I will put in these sleeves for the transparent cards. So yeah, these are probably my lowest priority. So I don't know if or when I'll worry about this set. Then we have this card here, which goes he here. I put that in the wrong way around. No, okay. 
Why is this so confusing to me? There we go. These ones definitely do not stay put very well, no matter what I do. So next, this is their most recent comeback light up. So I have all of the cards for this. Um, I'm just waiting on these to get to me. Seems like this all should be in order. So these are the circle cards from this. Uh, this is just the first six members for the first version and then the second version. I'm still trying to get Juanis. But then, yeah, here's the bigger inclusions for that in order. And then Zhao circle cards are here. He has his own little page, so there's that. And here are some fan sign, well, like pre-orders and fan sign cards. Here is my shell specific page, so there's that. And then I do have to set up for their Japanese releases as well. I need to figure out what exactly I want to do because ID and Chaser are OT10. So, so I'm thinking what I will do is give Xiao his own page because I hate that I would have to put him like on the back. So I think that's what I'll do is just give him his own page. I've been thinking about this a lot, but I don't know exactly how I plan to set this up. So there's his ID cards and I don't have to do anything like I can put his wild love card on the whole wild love page because that was ot9 so okay never mind gotta go here i'm just gonna do a little five pattern for this because there's not like these are like all of his japanese cards really so I will find fillers for the, well, actually, I could put these fillers in here, just a short one. Okay, so I'll find another filler for this later. I just didn't even realize how many Japanese cards they had for some reason. So this one is actually a Tower Records card, and I don't plan to collect that for OT10, but let's see. So this one, he goes down here, last spot. So I don't have fillers for these right now. I'll find fillers later. So then we have this page, which I think is the limited version, but I'm not sure. And then we move on to Wild Love. So there's two sets there. So I'll put this set first. Put Honey there. Then can put this set next. I don't love this set a whole bunch, to be honest. Okay, and then we can do Chaser next, which actually, believe it or not, I love Chaser so much. I think it's probably one of my favorite, like, Japanese songs by K-pop group ever, so... So I have this Usak card. So I put, put Hwani here and then Usak goes here. And then I can put this card here. And yeah, that is that. I'm just gonna put, where do I put this card? Should I just put it here? Yeah, I think that'll work for now. So now my only dilemma is figuring out where to put this card. Ooh, actually, you know what? So I do, okay, so I have a slight, like the smallest plan to collect broadcast cards for Xiao. So as of right now, I do have his, I think it's his Summer Go broadcast card in the way. And that'll be some, that'll be a collection I just do, I, I won't take it super seriously. And I'll just buy cards if I can find them for an okay price. Like I don't want to overspend for them really. But the Summer Go one was a pretty good price, so I bought that. But I think I'm just going to make a special page for Xiao so that I have a place to put this because otherwise I just don't. So I can just put this one first and then his summer go card will go here and then I'll add to it basically. But that is really it for that. I do have to think of a better way to organize this though. I don't know, I think, hmm. Cause I do have these cards here. These are like my full group sets. 
for other things so like so this is from their third anniversary make star and then this is just a fan club kit that i got in recently these as well they look messy don't look and then like these will be for their season's greetings that i have yet to get so yeah i think i'll probably keep this page in front of everything and i think i actually want to uh, move this shout card because it's just i don't like it being on the back i'd like to be able to display it you can put bito back in his spot but we can put Zhao up here i will sleeve it later don't worry actually i think i'll i'll keep these things in chronological order so i can put that there because summer go was in 2016 so okay so yeah i definitely will put fillers in here later um but i think hmm i don't know where exactly i want to put these here i think i'll probably just put them right here in between the korean and japanese cards so there can be that kind of separation and also i do plan to after zhao like i'm going to attempt to collect all of the cards i don't ever plan to finish it but i do plan to make some effort to do that but um i will do it in age order after zhao zhao will just be first so i think that was everything i wanted to do um, if they if they have any more circle card sets in the future, I'll need to get some more sleeves because I only bought enough for the amount that they have right now. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, here's everything. I think it'll be really fun to do this. I mean, I've altered up tension since 2015, so um, this is a long time coming, definitely. Like I said, I'm kind of unsure if this will be its own video or not. I'm kind of thinking it won't be, but just depending on... If there's stuff I can set up for, I will add on to this video, but I didn't really want to wait just because I'm excited to be doing this, but also I don't want to take forever doing this today because I want to make some banana bread, but I guess if there is another clip to this video, I will see you there. Okay, hello everyone. I'm back. Actually, I decided to add more to this video just uh, because I have to set up for these things anyways, and I don't think there's really much else I have to set up for besides these things, so I guess it's just best I do it. In this video so with that said i also have another questionable angle here last clip we got the the blanket background uh today we're just trying a new different location a bit so lighting might be weird but i'm hoping that it's not horrible might be some shadows but i hope it's okay to work with anyways i'm actually going to start off here in my boy groups binder well a actually this is where most of the things i have to do are happening so um basically i do need to start off with my ab6 section because uh, they are, I think their comeback just happened. But yeah, so they did have their comeback with their new album. And I actually did figure out what I want to do regarding my entire Salute collection. So I just decided to collect a few like group cards because I forgot that that was a thing that is in the album. So I decided that, yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take out a few of these fillers. So I did buy a set on Mercari Japan of just three group cards. And so what I decided to do is uh, just put them in the middle here and then make this page that really. I don't plan to add anything else to it. Yeah, I'm actually going to add some sleeves for fillers instead of using paper because I know exactly what's going here and I don't really need to, I don't know, make it clear to myself. Um, but I figured that collecting some of the group cards would be uh, an okay compromise because I didn't really want to drag out this collection too much longer. As in, I just kind of want to move forward into their new album and not really have to worry about this album. Because um, I did buy like a full set of his card, of Wung's cards from Salute, minus like two, I think. So I'm in a pretty good spot with that collection and whenever I get the chance to finish it, it probably won't be too hard to do so i figured i could just get the few group cards i need move on yeah with that said we can move on to their new album so what i decided to do for their new album is collect donghyun um and since there's not really many individual cards um i'll probably collect some of the unit cards from this album as well i'm not really saying i'm not really sure how many i will collect uh but in the end i think i'd kind of like to have a full nine pocket page for this album yeah but for now i'm just going to kind of um i'll set up for donghyun and we can go from there um and i'm collecting donghyun because i have not collected him yet um i collected obviously well uh daehui and wujin from vivid and then obviously woo from salute 
Um, and I want to collect Dong Hyun from this album just so I can kind of make it fair because um, I love all the members and I don't want to disregard him. That would be kind of stupid. So that's what we're doing. So like I said, there's two cards per, per member per version. So four cards total. So yeah, I'll just make the fillers for this really quick so I can do Dong Hyun. And I think they're the new and the hope version. Okay, there's that. So you can disregard my ugly handwriting because for some reason I'm having trouble this morning. Or I guess this afternoon, it is 2 p.m. Um, so I guess, so we can put a page in. So I'll put the Hope version on the bottom. And then the new version on top. Alright, so there's that. And then... Um, I think for now, I'm just going to put in, like, the colored fillers instead of writing out for units, just because I don't really know what any of the units look like yet, so it'd probably be best not to really plan for it, um, especially because I don't know exactly what I'll be getting for this collection. You know, I talk about this all the time, but this collection just goes by however I feel is necessary. Like, I'll buy literally, like, whatever I want, uh, within reason, of course, um, just so I can be happy with it and so that it looks nice in my binder and stuff like that so but that is how this collection will look um i'll either get one unit or four units or maybe five units i don't know exactly how this collection will look in the end but we have a general idea with this page so then moving on um, i do need to set up for cix as well they just announced their comeback not too long ago for february um i haven't even gotten a start on their most recent comeback yet just because I've been kind of waiting for the prices to go down. Um, Jin Young, his prices uh, can be a little bit up there. I'm not really willing to spend all that much on his cards because he's not a huge priority for me collecting wise. So yeah, but I figured that uh, this collection, I want it set up uh, so that chapter three and four are on the same page because I think it's reasonable to set it up that way instead of setting it up with chapter four as its own page, uh, mostly because there's only four cards per member for chapter four, if I looked at the uh, album details correctly. So, okay, yeah, so my plan for right now is to, um, obviously Jin Young's selfie cards from chapter three are going, going to go this way, and then his selfie cards from chapter four are going to go this way, and then I'm going to, if I can get the group cards for chapter 3, I will put them in the middle here. So there will be one on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and write out the fillers for this album. It's kind of confusing though because they literally have four albums that have Hello as one of the versions. It's weird. Alright, so there is that, and then I can just go ahead and put them in their respective places. Strange Dream version will go on the bottom, and Hello version will go over here on the side. And then I will just put in this filler in the middle to indicate group cards. There's actually quite a bit of inclusions for the album for Chapter 4, which is interesting. But yeah, this collection isn't really a priority, but just setting up for it because... I need to. Um, and then I want to go to this section here, my one-way section. So let's see. So this is my page for uh, their Studio We Recording album and then their Memory Illusion album. I think that's what it's called. Honestly, the titles confuse me. I need to put this filler in the middle first of all. And I do think I have all these cards on the way. I know for sure that I have Dong Young's Memory Illusion cards secured at least. The other cards should be on their way to the Neokia warehouse. Um, so I think I will make fillers for this really quickly. So I will go ahead and do that now.
Okay, so we finished that. So I think actually I want to change this up because Dongmyung is my bias over Kia. I did have Kia kind of first because he's old, older, I think. He honestly might not be. I don't know because I think they were born in the same year. I'll have to look that up. But either way, I want to put Dongmyung first because he's my bias in the group. So um, we can just move him up here. So I'm going to put his studio recording cards first. So I think I will put Kia's cards here. My phone ran out of storage, so I apologize if things are different, but I finished this before I realized that it had stopped filming. So uh, basically I was just saying that I should have everything on this page on the way, but I just kind of have to hope everything gets to the Neokio warehouse all right, just because I swear every time that Neokio actually gets one of the listings that I put in for, for Dongmyung or Kia, I'm really surprised when they actually are able to purchase it in time, mostly because uh, those two members specifically sell really fast. So yeah, I just hope that goes smoothly because I feel like I'm fighting for my life every time I try to get some of their cards. And I feel like Mercari Japan is really the the only option of collecting, at least efficiently for one Wii, just because I feel like I never see cards priced well for one Wii, uh, at least on places that aren't Mercari Japan. So, but anyways, that was it for this. And um, I'm not really doing anything to this section here. I just want to talk about this for a second. I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to have this... Wii Eye section sort of actually put together by the next time you see my binders. And I also, uh, One Wii is another section I don't have entirely complete. I want to, like, actually finish their cover page. Um, but for Wii Eye, I'd like to make a cover page and then make fillers and stuff for this section. Um, my main thing with adding a new group to collections, though, is just kind of picking their color is, uh, it can be difficult just because I feel like I need something that kind of embodies their energy as a group. So it's taken me a while to kind of pin down what I want for my Wii Eye collection. So I'm hoping I can figure that out by the next time you see at least this section. So I will see. And then I guess I'll talk about this as well. So we have Wii in the Zone. So Wii in the Zone disbanded. So this collection will probably make its way out of this binder eventually. I do have a binder where I put all of my collections from inactive groups and just collections I'm not really working on. We in the Zone will probably stay in this binder for a little bit longer just because I'm ignoring, I'm currently ignoring the fact that they even disbanded. But yeah, next next time you see this binder, they might not be in here. We'll see. Who knows? Next, I just have one more thing I need to set up for. So I'll get a different binder for that. So here we have my NCT binder and I did actually finally finish decorating this so I have some more fan art on the cover. I just added this OT23 print that I got from Etsy and I added this Polaroid I got as a freebie and then this is just what the front of this binder will look like. I do actually have plans to add a decal to the side of this but that's not really important. Something I need to set up for... I actually need to set up for collecting OT9 for Superhuman so I just kind of decided to do this on a whim mostly because I am not a fan of the way my binder looked before. I guess like my superhuman page, I just kind of hated it. So I decided it would just make things easier if I collected OT9 for this. Um, I'm just going to write out fillers for it. I honestly don't know because I also have to set up for something else that's pretty big. So I don't know if I'll have enough like white fillers to finish this out, but um, we're going to try at least. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and write out these fillers and we're gonna see if I can remember 127's age order because I don't think I can. Okay, I had just enough post-its but I believe I have this correct so I can go ahead and put them in. And this is going to not be something I worry about too much, uh, collecting this album at least, just because um, I don't, I mean, I, I can't really see myself worrying about it too much, just because it's kind of, it's just kind of a backlog a little bit. And I'd currently like to work on finishing my part two collection first, so yeah, I just don't see this collection really getting worked on much. Um, until I'm able to kind of branch out and do more things. So I can put Do Young in. Actually, I think I did buy Johnny's card for this just because it was like three bucks. 
on Mercari Japan, so um, I have a feeling that like I'll be able to get probably tails pretty quickly as well, but like I don't really plan to spend a whole bunch on these cards, so that's another reason why this probably won't be finished super quickly. So, but this is the only album I plan to do this with. I was actually going to attempt to collect OT9 for Cherry Bomb as well. So like my plan was collecting OT9 for Cherry Bomb and then adding another member from Fire Truck. So like I'd probably try to collect Mark from Fire Truck and something like that, but I would like to do that, but it's also, uh, I don't care enough to really, so I'm not going to. But that's what this page is going to look like. And then I just want to, so I've talked about this briefly in places, but I plan to collect OT23 for the access cards. So I want to set up for that. Yeah, so this is what I, I'm not sure if I'll have enough like white papers and white sleeves for it. Like I definitely don't have enough white papers, but I don't know if I'll have enough white sleeves for it. So uh, we might be left with some open spaces for a bit, but um, I'm just going to put these two pages here. And I'm gonna put these cards in their places first. Um, so these cards do have numbers on them, putting them in a particular order. So it's like, you can use that for reference of where they go. So I'm just going to do it that way. So put Kuhn there, Jaehyun here, and then Chan can go here, Jamin can go here, and then I just need to move Sungchan. So Sungchan can go here. And I can put this filler back here. Jisung can go here. And I know um, Sungchan isn't the youngest. Jisung obviously still the youngest. But uh, just I'm going doing it based on the numbers so it's not mixed up at all. And then Chunla can go here. So there's that. And then... Just need to put in a few of the colored fillers for this page. Put them in the corners. It is honestly really necessary that I use different colors for each like subunit because otherwise I wouldn't have enough fillers at all. So, so now I need to, okay, I'm gonna use these green ones. I just need to get a template really quick so I can figure out their age order. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this page really quick first because there's only two cards I need on this page. Oh, also Chunla does not go here. Chunla goes here. Okay, that works. So, um, I just need to, I'm just gonna write their names by the way. I'm not going to write out anything else. So Shotaro is here. I kind of don't like that they just stuck Shotaro and Sungchan at the end instead of like incorporating them into the age order. Uh, but then we have Yang Yang next. Yang Yang is baby. Honestly, it it doesn't hit me very often how young Yang Yang actually is. Um, and then I'll, I guess I'll start on this page. So the only thing I have left for fillers is white sleeves. So I'm just going to use those until I run out. So first we have... I'll just go through this really quick. Okay, so I have all of that done. I'm actually just gonna go in reverse order. Yeah, so this this is another collection I'm not taking super seriously. Um, I'm just gonna buy cards if they're cheap um, or if I can trade for them or something like that. Uh, I know there's a lot of members that I probably won't be able to get, I mean like for cheaper prices. Uh, Taeyong being one of them. I don't know who else are expensive members like I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. Mark, Mark probably. It'll probably take a while. But I assume I probably won't get those until I'm really able to crack down on the collection. 
um, so I probably won't worry about getting those until I'm like closer to being finished uh, just because you know I'm really not worrying about this a whole bunch it's just something I'm doing for fun because honestly I would have collected OT23 for this release if I could have but considering everything and also that I'm kind of broke at the moment it's not possible unfortunately um, but I did I was able to collect a lot more for the album than like normal so I'm happy in that respect but you know like I said if I could have collected OT23 I would have for sure maybe sometime down the road we'll get another like full group releases maybe we'll have like more new members or something like that I don't know maybe I'll be able to collect full group then but yeah also if member pricing like if that wasn't such a big deal I'd probably be able to do it but you know there's just some members that'll always be expensive and that's just how it's gonna be forever it's not that I'm fine with it but I've kind of accepted that member pricing is a thing that'll probably never go away like no I'm not happy with it there's this there's always a huge debate on Instagram about this I like always see it and I never really say anything about it because yeah it sucks and yeah people shouldn't be doing it and no I don't contribute to overpricing by like paying those prices but I also just feel like it's kind of a lost cause I guess if that makes sense I feel almost kind of neutral to it but like also not at the same time it's weird okay so I'm actually one sleeve short in this one last sleeve I'm using it like super dirty and I don't know why actually Okay, never mind. I have just enough fillers, except this is just one random paper in amidst all the sleeves. Okay, so there's that. I'll probably cut some more papers at a different time and switch them out eventually, but for now, this is how this will look. But yes, that was everything for this video. I honestly, I hope this didn't turn out to be super long, but if it did, I apologize. But anyways, that was everything for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next one.